This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, I have question marks appearing on my brushes. What does this mean? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a DynaMesh Sphere model here loaded in. And the question is asking about question mark icons appearing on brushes. So I'm going to come over here and navigate to the brush picker over here and open this up. And in here, you'll see all the brushes that I currently have loaded into ZBrush. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see I have some flatten and also some tracks brushes loaded in. And you'll notice that these brushes down here have these question mark icons visible on them. So what are these question marks? And is there a way to get rid of them? And what do they mean? So if you have loaded in any custom brushes into ZBrush, they may come in with this question mark icon. Now this is not going to affect the brush in any shape or form, but it's just telling you that ZBrush hasn't gone through and checked these brushes to see if they contain mesh parts. So you'll notice each of these question marks are located in the same location where the number of parts in an insert mesh brush or even a VDM brush would be. So you can see if I hover over the model kit brush here, you can see that it has a number of 120, which means there are 120 mesh parts inside this brush. So the question mark just means that ZBrush has not checked these brushes to see if they contain any mesh parts. And that is why a question mark is appearing on your brushes. Now, once again, the question mark will not affect how these brushes work, but if you would like to get rid of this question mark and not have it visible when you go and select a brush, all you need to do is click this Reset All Brushes button. Now, when you click Reset All Brushes, either from this menu here or in the brush palette down at the bottom, this Reset All Brushes button here, ZBrush will be forced to go through and look at all the brushes that you have loaded in your Brush Presets folder and check all of them. So if I come over here and click this, ZBrush is gonna go through the process of checking all the brushes that are in my brush preset folder. And now if I go back to the brush pop-up here, you'll see that the flatten and tracks brushes no longer have that question mark icon visible on them. So to recap, the question mark icon is just there because ZBrush hasn't fully checked that brush to see if it contains any mesh parts. To force ZBrush to check all your brushes that are located in the brush presets folder, you just need to come over here and click this reset all brushes button, or correspondingly, you can open the brush palette this way and then click reset all brushes. And this will force ZBrush to check all the brushes that are loaded in your brush preset folder to see if they have any mesh parts. And then those question marks will be removed. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!